What's up everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's a beautiful evening. I just got back. I went out to have a drink and eat something. Really beautiful night. Yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. You very much appreciated. I see you watching us from all over the world. South Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia. Thank you so much. Uganda, Tanzania, Nigeria. Thank you. Ghana, Liberia, Somalia. We see you. Jamaica, the whole of South America, the UK and United States. I can name all of you today. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is your first time. Please subscribe, be part of the crew. And uh, let's all do this to get started so we can make our voice much bigger okay all right so today we're talking about niger again i know i know we've spoken about niger quite a bit but i think it's necessary that we understand how these things happen when they begin how they go and how they finish so we have a story if you haven't watched uh any of our videos about niger i suggest that you click on one of these buttons right here so you can watch them and catch up perhaps get the context okay so for those of us who understand we have a situation here okay the nigerian government has just arrested the diplomat from france in niger okay things are really getting sour right now they have arrested this person and france is demanding his immediate release and this is very very scary because something could happen so basically they say france demanded on tuesday that the niger immediately release an advisor for french embassy abroad france is following with utmost attention the situation of stefan julien advisor to the french abroad based in niger arrested on september 8th by nigerian security forces the foreign minister say on a statement we call for his immediate release it is said that the embassy is fully mobilized to ensure that the council of protection of our compatriots since the first date of the so we know everything right now we know that niger is a beautiful country for context quickly okay we're gonna i know i know i ask you to go watch the video i'm gonna give you a quick contest right now okay so niger is a beautiful country northern africa very hot indeed i firmly believe that god need to renegotiate the temperature <laughs> it's too hot people are lovely people but the place is way too hot okay so uh, niger was colonized by france for many many years they were only liberated in 1960 like most african countries but they kept a very strong hold with france and time for many years france mines uranium from niger and they use the uranium to go and produce electricity in france france also exports electricity from france to many other european countries in the meantime niger itself does not have electricity yeah that's very paradoxical, right? Okay, so the people of Niger are exhausted. They are tired because they feel like most of their presidents, most of the time, actually work for foreign nations, for Europeans. They don't work for the people of Niger because the people of Niger are very poor. They live in difficulties, no infrastructure. So they say, you know what? We've had enough of this. Enough of these presidents who are actually just puppets of the France and French government. They toppled the president. The president, Mohamed Bazoum, was toppled by his guards and his main guards became the new president okay now france said they do not acknowledge this government they only acknowledge bazoom so what happened next was this brand new government called upon the french embassy to come and have a discussion okay we are the new bosses in town please come and see us so we can talk and see how we can move forward and this person completely ignored them they didn't like it so they gave him 48 hours to leave the country. And then the French government from France, the Quai d'Orsay, say, we do not acknowledge you as government in Niger. We, you are nobody, actually. You have no leg legitimacy to ask us to leave the country. So Nigerians were very angry at that. So we have here, fellas, people in their own country deciding for their own future, toppling their own president. But the French people say, we do not recognize you. Okay, you do not recognize us or leave our country. We're not leaving either. What are you going to do about this? So this is the reality of France in Niger. Okay, so for you to know, most of Africans that were colonized by France do send up until now 30% of the yearly revenue back to France. Yes, I know. It's shocking, eh? isn't it? And most of these countries that use the CFA franc, the CFA franc is produced in France, not in those respective countries. Okay? So, there are 15 countries that form the ECOWAS. ECOWAS is um, a group of 15 countries, West African countries, that come together politically and economically, now militarily, to support each other. ECOWAS say they're going to topple these new uh, people in the government to reinstate the old president, Mohamed Bazoum. So, basically there there has been a lot of um you know push and pull running everything between 
France and Niger and the people of Equas. France want to keep its hand within Niger. It's very necessary for its economy because if Niger cuts off uranium, France has a lot of, lot of problems. France uses 30% of its electricity coming from you know, uranium that they mine from Niger. So just imagine if Niger say, you know what, from now on, you're not going to get uranium from my house. It's going to be very difficult for France. So it is necessary. It's a, their best interest that they find a way, whether it's militarily or friendly, to stay in Niger. So they refuse to leave the country. Niger doesn't belong to France. We told the French to leave. They said no. What's their plan? As citizens, we don't want the French here. They can do whatever they want in France, but not here. This military base is attached to the international airport here in Yemen. And if the French ambassador and troops don't leave, a sitting will be held here in the coming days and weeks. An estimated 1,500 French soldiers are believed to be here, and the coup supporters want them gone. Now, the government of Niger cut electricity from the French embassy to force them to leave the country. They did not leave the country. They cut off water supply. Then they cut off the food supply. They say no company in Niger will supply the French people with food or anything like that. Because the French have refused to leave, they've arrested one diplomat from France. The arrest of a French official was sure to further rise already high tension between France and Niger in the former colony. The foreign ministry did not elaborate on where and how Julien was arrested and whether officials in Paris knew where he was being held. It says only that France was following the situation closely and was fully mobilized. Fully mobilized. You know what that means? We ready. We ready to go. To ensure him the protection due to anyone in other countries. So that's militarily. These guys are just ready to come and rock and roll. And France calls immediately for his release, the statement says. So this again, we find ourselves in the case of a former colonizer wanting to stay in control of a colony that clearly want to be liberated. Um, and sadly, they're even using arrogance, you know, this uh, paternalistic attitude toward this country country that clearly a sovereign country okay we don't want bazoom anymore because bazoom does not represent us no the france and french people say no we recognize bazoom we do not recognize you because bazoom was supposedly democratically elected and you are not un coup d'état depuis juillet dernier retient en otage un président démocratiquement élu la france a une position simple nous le condamnons nous demandons la libération du président bazoom et la restauration de l'ordre constitutionnel et nous ne reconnaissons aucune légitimité aux déclarations des putschistes. Puisque le président Bazoum n'a pas renoncé à son pouvoir. Et donc, si nous redéployons quoi que ce soit, je ne le ferai qu'à la demande du président Bazoum et en coordination avec lui. Now, my big question is this. We've had a coup d'état in Gabon as well, right? Do you remember that a few days ago? Why doesn't France make noise about Gabon? Why doesn't France say, okay, we do not recognize this new government, we only recognize the democratically elected government? Why don't they make noise about that? You know why? Because it looks like they know exactly what's happening in Gabon. It looks like a fake coup d'état. In fact, giving you the impression there's a new government, but in reality, it's the same people. Did you know that a new person in power in Gabon is actually the cousin or the nephew of the older president? So they are the same family. France is not making a noise about Gabon. They say they are monitoring Gabon very closely, but they are condemning what's happening in Niger because obviously the interests are not the same. Now, my question is here. Should the people of Niger free this person, let him go back to France, or should they keep him to show a case of force, to show that they will not be pushed around? Should the people of Niger let this person go? Because it is necessary that they let him go because he's a diplomat and he should enjoy humanity. But we also know that they relieved humanity of all the people of France in Niger after they asked them to leave the country and they refused. Should Niger liberate this person, let him go, or keep him in custody? But the danger is this will allow France to do something really, really dramatic. Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure to read from you. I know you are very intelligent people. Uh, you probably spotted some areas of the story that I did not mention. Necessary that we read from you. God bless.